I'd like to set the scene briefly. I want you to imagine you're stood in the middle of a field. It's a bright sunny day, not unlike today, maybe a bit cooler, and you're with all your friends. You've just witnessed what you can only describe as the best set of live music ever, and you'd like to share that with as many other music fans as possible. We are Frenzy, we're a trip advisor for music and festivals. So a little bit about me, my name is Mark. I've spent 25 years working in digital media for brands you might know, such as the Financial Times and Red Bull, and for a few B2B publishers you might not. Uh, I've been tasked with commercializing content. Now, Thomas, who leads our technology uh, side of the platform, he was part of the team that built the biggest ticketing and event discovery app in Poland. And then our advisors, you obviously heard from Craig. For many of you, if you know, Craig launched and sold a ticketing business. Uh, Mark Foster spent 25 years working at a major label and then went on to launch Deezer outside of France. Um, and AJ Goal is a financial modelling expert, uh, part of EMI, and now works at Conley Nat. So we know the entertainment and media landscape very, very well. So, 197 million tickets across the US and the UK for the live entertainment space. It's a huge amount of tickets. And through uh, through 2022, the growth is expected to have rebounded 40% more than last year, which was 100%, 106% more than through the pandemic. So the music industry is big and it's growing. By 2030, it's predicted to be doubling in size to 120 billion pounds. We surveyed a load of media students from UK universities who work in their radio stations, 300 in fact. And 98% of them said that there was no longer one authoritative source of music and festival recommendations. And customer reviews. Apparently, according to consumer data that we've seen, is that the majority of people in this room have used customer reviews to make purchases, whether it be for a new TV, checking out local restaurants, or even booking a Manny and Petty. 97% of us, in fact. And consumers who interact with customer reviews convert 120% more than those who don't. Simple, right? So our mission is to use consumer reviews, fan reviews, to convert more people to buying tickets. That's that simple. So our platform is open to everyone. Anyone in this room can write about a music event they've been to recently. They share it, and it comes with a personalized, authentic experience. And we're trying to grow a community, the biggest community of fans globally. And this allows artists to forge much deeper relationships with their fans. So, traction today, how well is this doing? Well, actually pretty well. In the last 12 months, we've published over 10,000 fan reviews. And that covers around 3,000 artists and over 100, which shy of 150 festivals around the world. We've got 3,277 registered users as of this morning. And they've all signed up with their email addresses or logged on by their social media accounts. And that's growing 10% a month organically. And as of, again, this morning, we have 18,891 uh, email subscribers. What's really important and was a, a recent win is we now have the ability to sell uh, 400 million live tickets through our ticketing partners across North America and Europe. So the fan journey. Well, fans come to the platform and at peak, we've received up to three quarters of a million unique users in one month. They can then write reviews or read reviews. And just to be clear, fan reviews are 10 times more engaging than editorially created content, which leads us to forecast based on competitor analysis that we'll have a conversion rate buying tickets at 1.2%. And these are some of the partners we work with, five of the biggest ticketing companies in Europe and North America. That's the top end of the market. At the bottom end of the market, where we see the massive opportunity, is we aim to put an e-ticketing app in every artist so they can, that they can ticket any music event at any venue around any city globally. And we use BSB to power this. It allows them to be able to know who's in the room, who bought a ticket. It also allows them to sell NFTs, or as we call it, digital merchandise, it's much more sexy. So instead of turning up at the venue and buying a t-shirt, you can essentially get hold of any of their digital assets, a new video, a new album, anything they want. So it's increased their revenue. And lastly, one of the big things that it provides us with is it allows them to create a fan CRM. 
They know who's in the room, they can then grow who's in the next room. So based on the conversion rate I talked about before of 1.2%, we forecast ticketing sales of 2.5 million in year three. And as part of our business model, plus the NFT sales, oh, leads us to a total revenue of four million pounds in three years. So we're here, I'm here today, we're looking for £250,000 for 14.28, very specific, amount of equity, which leads us to a valuation of 1.5 million. And we're going to use that for nine months worth of financial runway across technology development, <coughs> marketing and overheads. So if you'd like to be part of helping us to create the biggest fan community in the world, allowing more artists to derive more revenue through ticketing and through digital merchandise, let's have a chat.